I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in those pre-selected categories. This is a great way to train yourself to play hands that you might not normally think about. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations and we'll force hands in these categories we're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll have 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We have a couple of flowers red, green, white dragon, pair of whites. We have a west, and then in cracks we have one, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, pairs of twos and sixes. In bams, we have three, four, six, pair of six bams. In dots, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, pairs of nines. If these were your tiles, which of these categories would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play a year hand and odds. We're very close to the concealed odd hand and we have white dragons and twos. We're gonna have joker bait that we can't use with sixes though. There is some potential for three, six, nine in here too. Maybe the three, six, nine pair hand would be better than odds. Let's see about odds though, because three, six, nine is not one of these hands, but look, we have three, six, three, six, nine, three, nine. Pair hands is not on the board. So I think odds and a year hand. So here we have year tiles. We have dragons. Those can all be used in the year category. So we have options. We're gonna need flowers up here though. Maybe we could keep the West, Lonely West. There's one hand that uses Winds and Dragons in the year category, so I would hold it. Then here we have 135 Concealed. We even have a pair here and the flowers. So we need more five cracks, we need to pair up the three and the seven. But there's no gaps there. And a pretty good representation of dragons in twos. So I think that would be good. We have seven discards and two sets of joker bait. I think that's what I would do here, year and odds. Let's see. One, three, five, five, seven, nine, threes. Maybe even hold these just to see what happens. Since we have so many discards, I like to have plan B. Since we're holding odds, I think I would hold these. I was just thinking too, we could do two, three, four dragon for consecutive run as another option. So then 
discard those four joker bait year hand or two three four consecutive run and then odds i think the year hand would be probably more likely than consecutive run because we have two multiples with year tiles so year and odds if you would have done something different write that in the comment section below this is force one Pair of flowers, west and south, white dragon, green dragon, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine in cracks with a pair of eights. In BAMs, we have one, four, five, seven, eight pair of eights, and in dots, one, three, five, seven, nine, we have pairs of ones and threes. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? and what would be your first discards. If these were my tiles, I think I would play consecutive run concealed, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, We've got two pair to leverage, and then maybe the one, three, five quint. Now, it's a little risky because we have only one joker. We're going to need minimum of two, and we have only two small multiples there. So I would come up with a plan B, probably for the quint. Or we could maybe do a plan B for like numbers and still get a prize. Okay, one, three, five, quint, long shot. Or as a plan B for the quint, one, three, five, dragon. I'd rather go for a prize though, so I would try to push that quint. Then down here, we have options. We could do single pair, pung, kong, sixth hand down under consecutive run, or use that as joker bait and play seven eight seven eight nine seven eight seven eight nine seven tiles versus two three four five six seven it's kind of a toss-up the other thing i was thinking is to keep the green dragon for maybe like numbers if we can get the red dragon so i think i would keep that too so we have probably three different hands in here, all in the pre-selected categories, consecutive run, like numbers, and quints. And that leaves us with eight discards. So it'll take some work, but I think it's possible. I think consecutive run, Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, there's no gap. So I think that's what I would push. If you would do something different, write force two and what you would force.
All right, we need like numbers and winds and dragons. We've got a pung of Norse in here and dragons and a flower. I think we could swing a hand in winds and dragons. I think I would probably keep the twos because there is a year hand in there with either north and south or east and west. The other thing I was thinking is if we had south, we could do north and south with odds. But we have a gap. We've got two sevens, two threes, and two nines. Now the threes and the nines we have multiples for. So if we get south, we could potentially play north and south with odds. So I think I would hold the threes and the nines. We also need to plan in here a like number hand though. So I would hold all like numbers. Like numbers with multiples. We do have like numbers with sevens and sixes, but they're singles. Here we can leverage the multiples. Whichever one comes in, that's what we force. We're gonna need flowers and we may be able to use the dragons, maybe play news concealed or the news or north and south year hand, and then maybe use these down here. The challenge is we have no nine crack or eight crack. The white dragon we have here, let's see. This is gonna be a challenge to force like numbers and winds and dragons. But we've got a lot of fodder here. I was just thinking that we've got the white dragon, so we could do something like that right there. Eight dragon, eight dragon, or nine dragon, nine dragon. And then up here, maybe news with dragons and the red dragon there. Or we could maybe do a year hand with north and south. I would just keep all these tiles and gather. Winds, dragons, year tiles, like numbers. Hold this for joker bait and discard those. This is going to take work. Very challenging. So we have like number potential and winds and dragons. If you would do something differently with these tiles for like numbers and winds and dragons, write it in the comment section below. Whether you have an opportunity to play in a competitive game or if you just play casually, this is a great skill to build. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.